Hello, I'm Paul Rissman, and I'm going to guide you through the first movement of the planets. We're going to start with Mars, the bringer of war. This is astounding music. It's exciting, it feels modern, and yet it sounds so space age, even though it was written almost a hundred years ago. Yet musically, Mars is very straightforward. It's driven by a single repeating pattern, or ostinato, that dominates the entire movement. The music is scored in the less conventional 5-4 time signature, with five beats in each bar. As Westerners, we seem genetically programmed to feel four beats in a bar as more natural, so 5-4 immediately puts us on edge. But it's Holst's singular obsession with that rhythmic pattern that makes this music so exciting. It's coloured by a rather mechanical sound in the string section. Holst creates this by utilising the technique of collegno, which means with the wood in Italian. The musicians strike their instruments using the wood of the bow rather than the horsehair, which gives a wonderfully percussive sound. On top of that rhythmic ostinato, Holst places a long melodic line in the winds and brass, which seems to stretch upwards in equally balanced steps, like this. Let's look closer at how Holst created that melodic line. If we start here, notice that he rises up five notes. We call that spacing or interval a fifth. Then he falls down a half step, a semitone, then rises up another fifth and falls down a semitone. That highly organised shape is preserved throughout the melodic line. The biggest misconception people have about this music stems from our next example. Holst uses short bursts of sound which feel like tiny fanfares and give the music a distinctly military feel. Just take a listen to the winds and brass. Mars was written in 1914. It's subtitled The Bringer of War, so it's only natural to assume that it was influenced by the First World War. But actually, it was composed before war had broken out. So unless Holst was really good at astrology, it seems unlikely that this is a musical premonition of the conflict that would soon rage throughout Europe. Musically, Holst never moves too far away from his rhythmical ostinato. At the very end of the movement, after a frantic scramble from the winds and strings, the orchestra violently hammers home fragments of the rhythm, and we're left in no doubt as to the intensity of sound this huge orchestra is capable of producing. Thank you. 